Hi Crochetters of the World. <clears throat> In this tutorial I want to show you how to work this, uh, to crochet this uh, nice stitch that I found on the web and uh, I, uh, I liked it uh, so much. I think it's so so nice to, to create blankets, uh, baby blankets or uh, shawls, scarves and why not maybe maybe um, bags but for for shawls, scarves and blankets I think it's really really um, beautiful it's soft and nice and I think it, it has it has no name so I, I uh, named it um, the leaf stitch because I think this things little things here seems like uh, to be seem to be uh, leaves little leaves okay now um, the pattern is a multiple of four plus one so we need multiple of four and for this watch I will put 21 chains so 20 is multiple of 4 and plus 1 21 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 and 21 as I said it's multiple of 4 plus 1 Okay, now I'm using acrylic yarn, decay, uh, normal, medium yarn, and a 4.5 millimeters hook for this watch. But I think it can be mm, it can be worked with um, any kind of yarn. Maybe with cotton too. I I haven't um, tried so far but uh, i want to because i think it it can be a really nice uh, summer scarf if uh, worked with uh, cotton okay now 21 i have here and to begin we will just chain one and work into the second chain from the hook the first single crochet okay now the leaf is worked as the puff stitch actually but in more than one stitch so we have to um, insert the hook in eight stitches actually to create our large puff leaf here so one two three so single crochet and chain three okay now for the puff we just pull a little bit our loop on the hook and yarn over. Insert the hook, keep tight here, insert the hook into the second chain of our chain of three and pull the yarn. Yarn over. Insert the hook into the third chain and pull the yarn. Yarn over. Insert the hook into the single crochet here. Pull the yarn. Can you see it's actually gradually goes um, longer and longer the loop. Okay. Pull the yarn. Yarn over. Now focus a little bit. Insert the hook into the chain where you worked your single crochet so the same chain pull the yarn and yarn over now insert the hook into the first chain unworked here pull the yarn and yarn over insert the hook into the second chain pull the yarn and yarn over and finally into the third chain pull the yarn 
and yarn over and pull through all loops on our hook and we have some. Okay, now chain one to secure and ta -da! here we have our first leaf. Okay, chain one and into the next chain work a single crochet. And again, so actually we have to make our to work our puff, multiple puff, let's say. Let's name it like this. A multiple puff gradually. Small, then, then larger and larger, then again smaller and smaller. Okay? And it's actually the, the way you work that uh, uh, just guide you into this shape. So chain three. Now not very long your first loop yarn over into the second chain pull the loop can you see yarn over into the third chain pull up a loop yarn over into the single crochet the first loop uh, the <laughs> fourth loop sorry yarn over into the chain that we worked our single crochet Pull up a loop, yarn over. This is the fifth loop. And now we have to pull up loops uh, into the next three chain and we'll have eight. So into the first chain, pull up a loop. Can you see? Now we have to go smaller and smaller. Into the second chain, pull up a loop and this is the seventh. Yarn over into the third chain, pull up a loop and this is the eighth and it's okay. Now yarn over and pull through all oops, all loops on your hook. Now chain one to secure and here we have our second leaf. Okay now I will change. Okay now again chain one and into the very next chain here, left unworked, single crochet and chain three. So the first loop is here. We have the loop on our hook. Then the second into the second chain, the third into the third chain, the fourth loop into the single crochet, the fifth loop into the chain that we worked the single crochet the sixth loop into the um, first chain left on work and then the seventh into the second chain and into the third we make the eighth chain uh, loop sorry so this is our first loop yarn over into the second chain pull up a loop yarn over into the third chain pull up a loop yarn over into the single crochet pull up a loop yarn over into the chain that we worked the single crochet pull up a loop yarn over into the first chain left onward pull up a loop yarn over into the next chain pull up a loop yarn over and into the third chain pull up a loop and actually we have to finish with uh, the same size of the loop that we uh, began, began with so this is the idea. Okay, so yarn over and pull through all loops on your hook. Chain one, then chain one again, and into the first sing uh, into the first chain. Sorry, unworked. Work a single crochet and go on with the next leaf. So chain three, pull up a little loop. Yarn over into the second chain. Pull up a loop yarn over into the third pull up a loop yarn over into the single crochet pull up a loop yarn over into the chain that we work the single crochet pull up a loop yarn over into the first chain here pull up a loop yarn over into the second chain pull up a loop yarn over into the third chain pull up a loop oops not so Long. And this is what we have. 
yarn over and pull through all loops on your hook chain one to secure and again chain and into the next chain a single crochet okay and this is what we have so far so because I put 20 chains plus one I will have five um, leaves five leaves okay now chain three and let's go working our last leaf so this is my first loop yarn over into the second chain pull up a loop yarn over into the third chain pull up a loop yarn over into the single crochet pull up a loop yarn over into the chain under the single crochet pull up a loop yarn over into the next chain left unworked pull up a loop yarn over into the next chain pull up a loop yarn over and into the next chain oops I think pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through all loops on the hook chain one to secure chain one and into the last chain left unworked single crochet and this is what we have okay so this is our first row now for the second row really really easy chain three one two three four chain three is for our first double crochet and the the fourth chain is for our chain one space okay now into the first chain that we have here so where we actually put our first loop so here into the first chain oops okay insert your hook and work a single crochet chain one and into the single crochet work a double crochet chain one and into the first chain of the leaf here work a single crochet oops this a single crochet now chain one again and into the single crochet work a double crochet now again chain one into the first chain here can you see it this is the first chain insert your hook and work a single crochet now chain one and into the single crochet work a double crochet this is what we have to repeat chain one and into the first chain here work a single crochet oops like this chain one and into the double crochet work into the sorry single crochet work a double crochet chain one and into the first chain work a single crochet chain one and into the last single crochet here work a double crochet and this is the second row now we have to repeat the leaf row so chain one turn single crochet into the double crochet and chain three now the first loop then yarn over into the second chain the second loop yarn over the third loop yarn over into the single crochet the fourth loop yarn over into the double crochet where we worked the single crochet the loop yarn over it's the fifth loop yes yarn over into the chain one space the sixth loop yarn over into the single crochet the fifth 
the seventh sorry loop yarn over and into the next chain one space the last loop so the eighth loop yarn over pull through all chain one to secure chain one again and into this um, double crochet work a single crochet now chain three and again another leaf so this is one uh, this is our first loop yarn over into the second chain <coughs> Then yarn over again, yarn over into the single crochet, pull up loop, yarn over into the double crochet where we work the single crochet, pull up a loop, yarn over around the chain one space, pull up a loop, yarn over into the single crochet, pull up a loop, yarn over around the chain one space, pull up a loop. This is what we have, yarn over, pull through all loops on your hook and chain one to secure, chain one more and into the double crochet, a single crochet. So it's here into the double crochet that we have to work to a loop, into the single crochet and into the double crochet, okay? So this is what we have. Isn't it beautiful? I really like it. So chain three. This is our first loop, yarn over and go on with seven more loops. One, two, because one is that we have on our hook. Three into the single crochet, oops, sorry. Yes, it's here. Into the single crochet, then into the double crochet under the single crochet, then around the chain one space, yarn over into the single crochet, yarn over and around the chain one space, yarn over pull through all loops on your hook and chain one and into the double crochet work a single crochet and a chain three. Now this is our first loop, yarn over this is our second loop, yarn over, third loop, yarn over, fourth loop into the single crochet, yarn over into the double crochet, fifth loop, yarn over around the chain one space, sixth loop, yarn over into the single crochet, seventh loop and yarn over into the chain one space, eighth loop. Now yarn over, pull through all loops on your hook and chain one and into the double crochet work a double crochet, a single crochet, sorry, and a chain of three to begin our last leaf on the, on this row. Okay, oops. Don't forget to yarn over, okay, pull through all loops on your hook, oops, chain one and chain one again and into the third chain of the beginning, chain three, single crochet, okay, and this is, this is what we have to repeat, so the second and the third uh, row we have to repeat for the length that we want, so now chain three, four, three for the double crochet, one for the first chain one space, into the first chain here, work a single crochet, oops, like this, now chain one and into the single crochet work a double crochet, okay, so this is where we have then chain one, work a single crochet into the first chain here, here it is, single crochet, chain one and into the single crochet work a double crochet, chain one into the first chain work a single crochet, 
then chain one and into the single crochet work a double crochet chain one and into the chain one first chain one here work a single crochet chain one and into the double crochet into the single crochet sorry work a double crochet chain one and into the and you see it, it's actually here, our first chain, actually where we have, where we worked our first loop, chain one and into the last single crochet, work it double crochet. And actually now we are ready to go on with our pattern here. So as I said, this is only a swatch and the uh, you just have to repeat the second and the third, um, the, the second row, it's the row of double crochet, chain one, uh, single crochet, chain one, double crochet, and the third, it's the row of the leaves. So this is what you have to repeat to complete the length that you need for your project. And as I said, for me, it's really, really adorable for a nice blanket or a nice shawl, rectangular shawl or um, a scarf. Okay, so hope you enjoyed this tutorial and uh, see you at the next tutorial.